Okay, so hi everyone. Uh, so welcome everyone to our weekly Communities of Practice Sunday check-in session. Uh, so I hope everyone has had a great week and I welcome all of you to a half hour of Dharma, reflection and community connection. So if you are a new member of our community, uh, please accept our wholehearted welcome to you. Uh, and if you have any questions regarding our practices, topics, we are all here to help. Um, so it is customary for people in Australia to begin with any meeting by acknowledging the traditional owners of our land. So I would like to start today by acknowledging the Dharma people as the traditional owners of the land on which Nanti Institute resides. I also acknowledge the traditional custodians of various lands on where you are from. And I may pay my respects to the elders in the past, present, and emerging. So the check-in session has been developed by our communities of practice team and the entire community. In, 2016, in 2018 to 2019, we ran a number of community days and then began these weekly check-in sessions in October 2020. And those sessions are guided by humanistic Buddhism. And the purpose of these events is to develop and cultivate our practice, build our community and our friendship. So now more than ever, the practice has become vital. So today we are very grateful to have Doc, uh, Venerable Dr. Jiwei to lead the check-in session. She's going to inspire us with a very special guest on a very special day with a topic of freedom from freedom. So let's welcome Venerable and her guest. Thank you. Thank you, Yijin, for hosting this lovely pause. This check -ins, these check-in sessions that we have today, I think are very relevant. We live in an age of disruption, punctuated by numerous notifications, alerts, and unplanned for interruptions. Unknowingly, we may have developed a habit of scatter-mindedness that may even lead to visible messiness around us. Mindfully checking in helps us to build up a counter habit. Instead of filling our lives with one thing after another, and no, even before the other is done, let's instead learn to pause in between big tasks. Allow ourselves to mindfully check in, reflect and check out so that our experiences can become meaningful. Less can really be more. Let's now check in both body and mind. Start with an upright posture. Close your eyes and relax. Let's start from the top of our head. Relax our forehead, eyes, facial muscles, jaws, Relax. Relax our neck, shoulders, upper arms, lower arms, hands, and our fingers. Relax. Relax our upper body, our back muscles. Relax our spinal column, one vertebra at a time. Relax. Relax our thigh muscles. 
calf muscles, feet, and our toes. Relax. Feel the support of the floor. as we allow the tensions within the body to dissipate. Now gently bring our attention to the tip of our nose. Just feel the rhythm of our breath for the next one minute. Checking in as such a gift, a gift to our body and mind. When you are ready, you may gently return to the moment and open your eyes. Today, we have a treat. Some of you may have met Alex trout Goik, PhD candidate at the University of Wollongong and a longtime friend of the Communities of Practice. He was last year with Jade Hutchinson presenting their research on disruptive technologies. Alex has many talents, among which is his poetic flair. Today, he will talk to us about the inspiration behind a recent poem that he wrote, and he will also read it to us. Alex, over to you, please. Thank you so much, Venerable and uh, Yi Jun, for bringing us all here uh, today. And uh, I just want to quickly take this opportunity to thank the Nantian Institute uh, for being a stable source of community for people both near and abroad uh, since October and also before that as well, um, helping the community during some of the worst throes of the pandemic here in Wollongong, supporting international students and the like. Um, when other institutes uh, were giving them the cold shoulder, the government, the cold shoulder. And that's why uh, I'll always be a supporter of uh, the Nantian Institute and of the communities of practice um, for life. And so uh, this poem that I wrote today is another reason why I want to thank the Nantian Institute for giving a space for creative ventures like this to, to um, you know, be shared with a broad audience. Uh, they had a Mirrors to Wisdom uh, poetry um, event earlier in the year where we got to hear from some amazing uh, poets out there. And so this is the uh, outcome of that. And the reason that I wrote this poem is because it was really a intersection of, I guess, conundrums that I was coming to in, I guess, a research sense, researching the impact of disruptive technologies and how technologies are, are increasingly steering and guiding our behavior in unconscious ways uh, and what that entails for freedom. So it was the intersection of, um, yeah, my research, uh, my, I guess my spiritual practice and a meditative practice over the past couple of years that led me to write this today. And I hope that this stimulates some discussion with you all. So I will begin. <clears throat> freedom from freedom. Is life faded or is it all just random? Is the author free to write these words or are they predeterminately placed in tandem? If free will is a myth, what determines the quality of choice? 
questions that hang in the air only few are willing to voice. Sit by yourself in solitude for just a minute. Bear witness to the cacophony of voices that expose freedom's limit. Try and control the next thought that appears in your head. Try and think your thoughts before thinking them until you turn red. Thoughts and sensations arise. They just appear. Their coming and passing is inevitable. One need not fear. The universe is powered by cause and effect. Insist in free will, then it is reality you reject. But devoid of freedom, won't life lose its importance? Stripped of autonomy, you're in need of insurance. A fanciful idea and one so cherished proves difficult to let go, die and let perish. To pose an alternative or we live in denial, content to place the book back in original rank and file. Ignore the facts and shut the blinders to stave off death and its mounting reminders. I am important. I am me. No, my friend, you are no more than wind rustling a tree. Here for a moment, gone the next, only so many words until the end of the text. A changing pattern, part of life's tapestry, true nature proves freedom a travesty. Awaken to interdependence with all that is, to settle for anything less would be remiss. Metropolis is built from mud and dust, a belief they'll stand forever won't prevent their rust. Time hastens and empires fall, we're destined for oblivion and eternity's call. Try find stillness amongst the chaos and sit a while. Soothe your inner critic. Why put yourself on trial? The mind wishes to wander and drag you along for the ride, but in the absence of control is where the truth resides. So if the thoughts in your head are just words being said and the past is permanent, the future indeterminate, you may take what remains as life's essence, profound awareness paired with pure presence. And on that note, uh, there are some questions that um, I'd like to put everyone today in the breakout rooms and the general discussion that I hope we can have at the end. Trying to understand whether free will, this notion of free will that really in a, a liberal democracy like Australia sits at the heart of the notion of what it means to be, you know, a free autonomous individual, um, what this actually means in a context where we're increasingly shaped by technologies that surround us and the technologies with which we engage. Um, so I hope this is stimulating um, content for breakout discussions and thank you so much for listening. Welcome back everyone. I hope you had a fruitful discussion over a very difficult uh, couple of questions from Alex, but we would really love to hear your your thoughts and your insights. So if you open up the chat, looking forward to seeing what you mean or how you define um, your free will in this and what is freedom. So Lai Chen says that freedom is interdependent of everything. Mm, not just within sentient beings, but also with ecology, with environment. Yes, that's good. Ah, self-awareness, pause before deciding and responding is a type of freedom. That's true, Lai Chen. Niran says that free will is collective, not individual. Now, please take your time to slowly reflect on your discussion and share your thoughts. For now, I'd like to hand back to I Ching to lead us through the checkout session. Thank you, Venerable. So we really hope the check-in session uh, was helpful to you and we hope you experience the unconditional love and compassion and wisdom of this uh, community. Uh, but for everyone, uh, for anyone who might be experiencing a greater need than what today could offer, uh, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us. And you can also try to reach out to the professional organizations on the screen. And as we check out today, uh, we would like to ask you to reflect for a moment and send kindness to the loved ones, friends, and strangers who may need some care and healing. May they feel the warmth, strength, and the love of this community as we recite the dedication of marriage together. Let us now dedicate the goodness of what you have done 
to all living beings. May kindness, compassion, joy, and equanimity pervade all worlds. May we cherish and build affinities to benefit all beings. May Chan, Pure Land, and Precepts inspire equality and patience. May our gratitude and humility give rise to great vows. Okay, so thank you everyone for joining us. Uh, and for those who have time, we will be having our usual post checking discussions now. So please stay around. Otherwise, we will be back next week at 11 a.m. And we will have a new facilitator who's very knowledgeable and practice unconditional love all the time. And this is Cecilia. Uh, Sus. So we hope to see you all again next week to be part of uh, another amazing check-in journey. And at the end, as Alex wrote in his powerful poem, hope we all gain profound awareness paired with pure presence and be truly free from the freedom. So thank you everyone again.